a cool half of a lesbian couple in the, on the lesbian scene, and now because he, the, her lesbian partner has decided to become a transgender man, the, the other poor old lesbian has become a heterosexual woman. She didn't have to do anything. Doesn't have to change anything about anything she goes to bed with or, or anything. But she is at, she's been moved from a cool category of lesbian into the despised category of it, it, the only way it would be worse if it was two gay men, one of whom transitions into a trans woman. And then the other, the remaining guy is left as a straight white male. So you start off diverse and then mysteriously this poor woman, Kate, has wound up as totally non-diverse, as the Washington Post puts it, just a man dating a woman. She wants to express her queer identity, but she can't do that without making Andy uncomfortable. I don't have a dog in this fight. I, it's nothing, I don't know anything uh, about all this, but I feel this woman's pain. And that's actually how, the interesting thing about this is, that is actually how large numbers of Democrat opinion makers are thinking. They're all about hot for the identity politics. They've got all these gay candidates. They've uh, got ethnic minority candidates. And they don't want to wake up like Kate uh, and suddenly realize that they're lying next to some old white male. Somehow the diversity has flown the nest and uh, you wake up one morning with Joe Biden. Uh, so they started off as a lesbian couple. Now they're a straight couple. And the surviving lesbian isn't happy about it. Tales for our time. Spirits of the age. One day all the news stories will be like this. Mark Stein in Farash, we will take your calls straight ahead. I interview. An additional charge. Order to tell off 200. So we grabbed that uh, beginning part. Uh, are they a little bit more loud? 